Earth Shaker. They want to contest the game. Like, they don't want to let the Slardar and SF go BKB. Oh man, this is going to kick off level 1 fights when you've got Funny. He's got the Snowball available. And here we go with the Snowball to Big Daddy. The Sentry's already been dropped, but the Fisher coming out from Misery. Stopping aggression straight away. Is anyone going to go down here? Navi keeping themselves to the south. There's been a nightmare onto Envy. And here we go, the Force with the Crush trying to chase this one down. Bringing Envy low here with the raises. One more slap will do it. A Force trying to slither him away towards to it. So they go here with the Yacht yes, Missile coming through. Yes. That's your first blood on Envy. Now they turn to Fire. They'll get the Viper as well. Then you get low. You will. Oh, Big Daddy can pause, where's a three for one going on here in the bottom lane? Snow. Navi turning up to the fight with an absolutely incredible beginning. Funny gets himself a double kill. They do have Blink on Misery though, so the Echo could come in huge. This is actually a very good choke point. It's just a matter of the BKB timings. And honestly, if Dyer's anyone from Navi is going to have it, it's going Okay, so Denny, Denny has Funny comes in first, on Big Daddy Hotel, the Force focus in, Envy in here, comes for this incredible, the BKB has been popped. Denny going in here with the record for the raises, double kill for Denny, now turning to Denny toward Envy. Funny trying to control Funny, but Envy trying to clean up, oh, the Echo's out from Misery, finds our style as well, it's a three for two, trade him through the side, Denny TPs himself out, does not want to stick about, and Cloud9 actually enabling themselves to come out on top of the trade, they should be able to finish off Roshan as well, and, and that was a huge fight for Cloud9. Unfortunately, you cannot disjoint Arcane Bolt. Unfortunately for no sir. Fortunately, though, for, uh, for Suneko, he's going to be happy with that one. And uh, here we go. Funny's going ham. He wants to go for it. I'm also going to get thrown up here by the mules from Bone 7. Bone 7 getting nightmared up. Uh, Na'Vi going a little bit ham here. This is pretty much the Na'Vi we know. And it's back down. We love him. But our style, he's not. He's dead. A little bit of he's created here as the rest of Na'Vi go for the Raptor in the middle. Fortification will come out. Cloud9 still down two heroes. Are Navi going to be able to get this one without anything too bad Dyer's kicking off? It certainly looks fallen. like it. They find the Dyer's range racks, they get the melee racks here fallen. as well. But still, tier two standing Dyer's in the other two lanes. They're going to have attack. to back off for the time being. So, Envy almost certainly will be back for the high ground push in 20 seconds. Yeah. Nine at the moment, all down here at the moment. They do have TPs. This Viper split post, He's trying so hard, but Viper is just not that good of a rat hero. What can they do to stop this? Well, Misery's gonna pop down the fish here. So they cover the missile play a little bit off the mark. Misery able to get himself out of there. A boss trapped up. Can Radiant's they kill a boss? No, a boss pops the BKB. Attack. He's got a hell of a lot of a HP and armor to get through. And that's actually funny because Radiant's he's very ballsy. Snowball's They're going straight in. Ah, he's gonna be fine though. He's Radiant's got a shadow blade. Waters himself back out. Dream Cold controlling a boss in art style. And now MB moving in with a cooldown. Will catch onto a boss. Can they chase this down? It doesn't look like they want it. Yes, Farta blinking. But he wants to go for more onto a boss. They're trying to find it. A funny Front here, shadow back, trying to block up the side turner. Cloud9 continue to chase. Your scepter with the Lotus Orb, he uses it himself as well. Yeah, now the fish from downtown, you're getting to the Echo Slam on the Arsdale. They've found a boss. Arsdale still blind now. Funnick in the snowball. He's going to try to do what he can, but I think he's dead anyway. Arsdale falls. Funnick, he's able to blink himself out of the street. They've got the track. They see him. They know he is. There's no hiding. Funnick goes down as well. Cloud9 fight three heroes, and they do defend the base. That is the fight that Cloud9 needs to keep Dyer's themselves in this game. Power. Like, I think in a 5v5, they should still win. Nice reaction by Misery, by the way. That was very fast. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, 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 needs to wake oh, him up. Oh, no. is in trouble. He's going to be focused on by the entirety of Na'Vi. They're helping him down. I and actually, well, right. Suneko's looking for more blinks very aggressively for now. Farta blinks on to him. Buyback here from Misery. He wants to try and help with the team here. The Crush catching out EE. Here's the Mystic Flare as well. Envy getting blown up, but he blocked the BKB. And the Life Steal brings himself back up to the p grip. On to Farta. Holding him in place. Envy getting low. But he's able to find the boss. Echo Slap. Dendi's low. Dendi goes down. It's a 3 for one So far, Clamo coming out top. He might even be able to find Arcel here as well, chasing this one to down. Arcel here with the juice, trying to get himself out now with the nightmare. On to Big Daddy, who's sure that they can't. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's going to go down as well. Double kill for Farter on the Viper. They do lose Eternal Envy, but they find four heroes off the side of Na'Vi. Aegis, who do they give that to? It is on her board. They're going to look for the second set of racks here on the top lane. Still 40 seconds before Cloud9 had their Ursh. They're going to pop it out the fortification. Who's going to make the first Dyer's jump? Top barracks up. Dyer's top barracks Let's have a look. Oh, it's not going to be before these racks go down. They've already Radiant's found half of the racks. There's the other half. There's going to be the Nightmare on Tafata. It's moving forward with the BKB now. Now they're trying to go for this one. On Tafata, here we go. He's actually using the Amplified Lotus Storm. He's reflecting the Amplified onto her boss. Her boss is going to melt because of this. And Dendi falls as well. Envy, he's just doing too much damn damage. Funnick, he's the only one left here in this fight at the moment. Oh no, hang on. There's her, there's her boss. back with the Aegis. He's ready for round two. The Lotus Storm again is a 
going to do anything this time. They put down uh, Eternal Envy. Eternal Envy buys back. BTN will pull back. Down in another tail. By crack, the double yours. They're into the area. Perfect synchronization. Now there's a chase down to a force. Cloud9, the four of them. They're ready to find this kill. Misery's going to block it off. He doesn't even need to. That's the one. They're chasing for more. Fisher catches Funny. They've got the crack as well. They're looking here for the Tusk. Funny going to blink himself away. He's got the sigil to help slow down the side of Cloud9. Point seven trying to chase Radiance this down here. Tower. And Misery, he looks for the damage just a bit out of range. They've got a missile coming in as well. This actually could be a return. I think is there because they're like the top. It doesn't matter because he's got the slow. Good as point seven. Now Funny blinks away. It's the great escape. Thinking about, but no, the Fisher, the missile. Funny dead. Four heroes down on the side of Navi. Cloud9. Now they want to push. Now they need to do something with this time. Barbacks are available though on the entirety of Navi. Bar art style on the bane. But again, what a fight from Cloud9. But they did use the buybacks to recover that one. I, uh, wh what happened? Like, Owen, please. This is the point I where I was shooting. I, no, I, it's, it's, <laughs> it I mean, they pretty much more. used every single buyback at their disposal to make sure that they could defend the base there. And you saw the difference oh, between right Havost there. actually having MKB, right? Like, it is a rapier game. Like, this it, is the all-out play. It's always a rapier game when enemies playing a carry. Because games always somehow get to this point. This would uh, like not be in their base at the moment. Attack. They're going for throw. They're going for throw. Radiance Havost has to buy back. He can wait. He has to buy back. Oh, they don't have 30 seconds. Oh, go, Tandy going forward. On to Envy. Some of the right kicks now with the snowball. Envy for the BKB. Now with the low. So one is worth trying to buy back. Tandy's getting low. Tandy's going to pop. Tandy's down for two minutes. No buy back and forth. They won. Oh, no, there's no buy back. Double kill for Envy. Funning on the run. He's going to fall as well. Three heroes down. No buy backs available. Now Cloud9 look for the tier four. They're going to look for the ancient as well. Is this going to be the first? Oh! What? Big Daddy. Come on. I'm trying to get my heart on. Oh, that was Envy. That was Envy. What a way to end the game. He dropped his headset. He dropped his headset. That's about how I feel <laughs> when I watch this MP. game. Only MP right? would do that. Okay, so as long as Cloud9 plays Dota 2, I will never fully understand the what game. The